And your questions just keep pouring in about the vaccine. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge has been working diligently to try to answer all of them. He's back to discuss several more questions that have come to us through ClickOnDetroit.com, including a common one, a Doc, on Tylenol and Motrin and the vaccine. Yeah, Devin, so I want to start out by clarifying something that I've talked about that a lot of viewers might have misunderstood. That is the use of pain relievers when you receive the vaccine. Here's the thing. There is no proven reason not to use either Tylenol or Motrin to treat the side effects of the vaccine. In fact, I took Motrin about 14 hours after my second shot when I developed a fever and body aches. The only issue is more of a theoretic concern, particularly over whether Motrin might blunt the immune response to the vaccine. And along those lines, I would not recommend taking it before receiving the shot if you think that you might prevent side effects. If you're already taking it for some other reason, that's fine, but don't take it thinking you're gonna prevent side effects. There's no evidence one way or another, but it's just unlikely that pre-medication is going to help. Now, here are some other questions. A viewer asks, how much do the COVID-19 vaccines cost? Do you need to present your insurance card in order to receive the vaccine? The vaccine is free to everyone, but providers are allowed to bill a fee to your insurance for administering the shot. However, they cannot charge you anything. Even if you have a copay or deductible, there should be no out-of-pocket costs to you. Now, another question. My elderly mother experienced severe pain near the injection site after her first shot. Can anything prevent or reduce this for her second one? The answer is no. In fact, people are actually more likely to experience discomfort or side effects after the second shot. While you can't prevent the side effects, you can treat them when they occur. Now, another viewer says, I would like to know what effect the COVID-19 vaccine will have on future instances of exposure to other coronaviruses. The currently available mRNA vaccines are specific to the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus, and that's the only coronavirus you would be protected from. Now, finally, a viewer wants to know, in what way are the new variants more contagious? Should we be spraying mail in packages and wiping off carryout boxes? The answer is, the new variants are more contagious because they bind to human cells more effectively. They do not have any increased survival on surfaces, and there is no reason to change your habits about touching surfaces. You should simply continue hand washing and cleaning as you always have been. Back to you.